Yo, what up, gamer gang? Blue Moon here. Uh, let's make this intro short because the video will be long otherwise. I have not customized Hitakiri, Shaolin, Tiandi, nor Black Prior. For those characters, I'll show you all the armor sets there in the game and which ones I like the best. But I'm not gonna show myself customizing them because that would Im involve me actually having to play the game. Warden. I don't know which characters are actually different than the from last video. All I know is that I'm gonna show you all of them. And uh, I'll try not to forget to show Conqueror, <laughs> because that's what, I, what happened on the last one. I forgot to show Conqueror. Some people were like, man, I really wanted to see your Conqueror. This time I won't forget to show you everything, show you every single thing, because uh, sometimes I would forget to show you what I was using. And uh, I'll speak I'll speak a little bit here and there. Not really going to focus too much. And... Uh, a lot of heroes have different sets, so I believe this warden you probably won't use it. But this is my extremely, like, Templar slash uh, Deus Vault look. I don't know why they both have the same exact sword. Uh, it's probably because of uh, gear stats. Yeah, definitely. So, oh, I forgot to show you the colors for the last one. See, I'm going to forget a couple things. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, it's, it's normal. Uh, I don't feel like showing you the embossings is important, but why not? Uh, let me show you the colors on this one. The, that, that one that I just showed you, colors don't matter. Uh, it's only on the attacker. And, uh, this one is this. This is my defender version. This is my attacker version. Uh, this is my updated orange ward. And I believe I, on the other one I didn't have this. If I did, I'm sorry. I'm showing you every single one so you don't miss out. If you haven't seen my other two customization videos, please go check them out. They get pretty popular. And uh, it's really awesome to see the amount of support I get on those. It's really epic. Uh, remember that this is not completely perfect with the with the feats and all that. I mean, not feats, the perks, because I did not customize this perfectly. Uh, a lot of this is still from before the new perk system. Yeah, that that was Warden Peacekeeper. I only have one Peacekeeper. It's different than the other one from the last video, so that's pretty epic show you guys some more different stuff if you haven't seen my peacekeeper video go ahead and check it out i'm gonna plug in everything i can because i know these videos get popular and i want to bring attention <laughs> so yeah if you if you of course i'm doing this extremely fast i'm just showing you each bit and just to sh show you what what i'm using and you can pause it whenever you feel like uh, i'm not really gonna slow down okay so yeah peacekeeper was fast i believe that, that was everything oh yeah the colors hold up damn it <laughs> <laughs> trying to make things fast and this is what happened so yeah uh, as I said I'm gonna plug in all I, all I can because these videos get popular uh, as for Centurion I think this is the same customization I had from last video maybe not basically what I want to go with is the Hippocrine well not go with because who cares I don't play this game anymore and uh, I still don't have all the sets I somehow managed to get the Hippocrine uh, chest and arms super fucking lucky because I, I I spent like 20,000 customizing my Centurion just to get the looks even though I don't play Centurion <laughs> and uh, yeah I, I, I just felt like I wasted a ton of money and then I actually got it by just playing him which was pretty cool so yeah I would go with that other helmet by the way the Hippocrine helmet for my Centurion I also have this version which was my old one I don't think you guys like this one it's just a spiky version and I have this other version that is not customized it's just a just a meme. Uh, I, I can show you my Black Briar. Here he is. But I'll, I'll show you th those four characters that I haven't customized in the end. So, there you go, guys. My Conqueror. Jesus, I forgot from last time. Here's my Conqueror, guys. Uh, I had another customization before. This is with the new gear. So, um, yeah. This is my, my current Conqueror. Lucius all around. I'm going to show you the other bits. So, uh, I had a different set. I had a different look. But, um... I just I I, I customize them with the new gear. I feel like this is cool, but still I don't really like the the gear that he got. I feel like this chest piece looks okay. That's why I went with it. But I don't really like the new gear for Conqueror. That's why I only have that. Finally, Lawbringer, my rep 70, my main, the only character I give a shit about. So this has been my number one uh, loud out for him. Going with this extremely cool uh, helmet because it looks like he's using a ski visor. It looks super epic. And it's really impossible to get that if you're not a Lawbringer man because you need a lot of levels to get that. So let me show you now. 
I'm using the triangulation too, which you get reputation 50 to get this like mouth look. And then I'm using the refraction one from reputation 54 to get the ski mask look. You can also get this super easily by just buying one battle outfit. Here it is. You can also get this with the cube too, because it looks like you have a one eye and uh, you can get another pattern. This pattern looks kind of weird with this with this look. It looks like a mouth in a in a in one eye. But it doesn't. It looks a little weird. So yeah, that that I I just love that that looks so much. So also, if you have not seen my emblems, let me just plug in. Uh, I have I have made a lot of emblem tutorials, so you guys can copy my emblems, and I think they're pretty swaggy. I hate that this color palette is not available for the vendors. I don't understand why and not because it's purple. But fuck it, let let, let, let let it be like that. I'll show you the next one. I think I've shown you this look, but again, I'm gonna show you everything. Anyway, I really like this because it's very simplistic. You know, it's just black and bronze. I really like the mix for this one. This is my breach defender uh, because of the or breach attacker even uh, because of the the perks. He's customized for breach. Uh, a little plugin. Look at all the symbols I've got. You can go ahead and check them out. I still haven't made the, my, my Trump emblem. A few people asked me to, but. I don't know. I feel like that is just my personal emblem and I don't want to share it. <laughs> Sorry. So this is my like more Dills Vault kind of Lawbringer. And uh, as for Mordhaw, because I was torn between doing this one first or my Mordhaw video. So on Mordhaw I'm going to do now a video with a shit ton of... Uh, What's it called? Cosplays. A ton of cosplays from a ton of different things. Mostly Dark Souls, but there's uh, some other cosplays here and there. And uh, basically, uh, I have already made another cosplay video on Mordhaw, but it's just For Honor. So if you guys want to see some Mordhaw cosplays of For Honor, go ahead and check it out on my channel. Card up here. And uh, I forgot to make two. I also made the Guardian and the Shaolin, but it's, that's going to be on the next video. But on that first video, there's 10 or 12 cosplays in there so you guys to check out if you play more at all or if you just like to look at my customizations and shit so i'm showing a lot of things that are just none and uh, i'm not actually showing you guys like symbols and crap because that's like optional type of thing so for gladiator uh, i have two others so there's this one and this one i'm not going to show the customization because i don't use those those are just messing around let's move on to actual customization which is from raider I feel like I've shown you this. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Uh, again, I I don't want I don't I don't know why I'm repeating myself. <laughs> I'm gonna show you everything anyway. Uh, Sabjorn, still my favorite Raider weapon. The only thing I've changed now is the Ragnar Steel pommel, cause that pommel looks super epic and swaggy. So yeah, that is still my favorite uh, Raider weapon. <clears throat> Wouldn't change it for nothing. Wait, what's this? What is that called? Oh, it's the top. Yeah, sorry, I have retarded. Um, colors. All right, I kind of ran out of things to say, haven't I? So this is my 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 first raider ever, and I, I still really like it. This is my defender raider. I like how the the helmet just goes with the purple. It looks perfect, and uh, it's this color, the orchard. Yeah, you need a lot of reps to get that. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and diss on raider <laughs> or anything. I'm not gonna rent. I've done a lot of ranting before on my other video, if you haven't checked it out. Plug in time! <laughs> Let me plug in that video as well. So I made a video of me playing the new event and uh, discussing things. Uh, also, I'm not going to forget about Berserker because I think I forgot to show you some stuff on Berserker. Oh, man, what the hell. Uh, basically, I've made a lot of uh, rant time, like 8 minutes of me ranting on a 17 minute video. I, I, think, I think I went pretty easy. Yet, I kind of got my point across, which is what I was trying to go for. Uh, I don't, I'm not invested in this game anymore, so I don't see any point on me going all crazy maniac, because I'm not really a crazy maniac person. So, I just went on there, trying the new event, giving you guys my opinion, because I haven't made a For Honor video in so damn long. So, uh, I also have another Berserker. I forgot to show you this one on the last video, although I have shown you on the first video. Yes, I've made two of these. <laughs> So this is my defender and attacker because it works for both ways and uh, it's my winter one basically. It's not customized for the new perk system. This is my this is a very old set. 
what else can I plug in? Oh, I may make... There's another plug-in for you guys. I may make another video on... Uh, <clears throat> on uh, a For Honor, For Honor Discord. Uh, with my friends, because I have a lot of footage. I deleted a bit because I had no more f space on my computer. So that was kind of a problem. I had to delete a bit, but I think I can get those back and show you guys a good time with my Discord buddies. Uh, Primal Howl for all. I still haven't customized my Highlander differently. This is these are still my free sets, although they are extremely expensive to make. And extremely specific thing because uh, he was my first ever real main basically but then he got reworked and I just kind of like got pissed off because Highlander just became a 50-50 maniac I just didn't really I just lost complete interest in Highlander but yeah I still have him with extreme customization there's no new sets on him and there's not a lot of new sets on my customization I'm sorry Lupine gift for all <coughs> what else can I plug in? Uh, if you want, you can just mute me by muting the the video. I, I'm I'm just gonna be plugging in as many things I can remember that are actually relevant, and not just plug in random shit. Hey, remember to subscribe. That's that's a relevant plugin, and I think I can apply here. <laughs> remember to subscribe and to leave a like if you liked it, so more people can see my customization and look super badass or at the very least look all the same I like the way I went with this with this weapon went very like basic yeah it looks pretty cool it looks like a, a really cool shaman commander type of character so yeah there's a lot of very specific color palettes that you need to unlock a lot of crap to get to also uh, uh, man I can't speak uh, also engravings that you can only get from specific uh, tiers on uh, competitive or ranked uh, even so yeah you guys just customize whatever you want I'm just really showing you guys the loadouts basically like the armor set or armor pieces uh, for this one uh, because this armor set the dog whatever that is is a uh, limited time it was from the first ever uh, year one event the from test your steel it's the only black pure black cup of look so if you don't have that because you weren't here you can use the Betty whatever this is because it looks pretty red or you can actually go for this one the Sudri because I think that's the one it applies with this uh, chest piece which I think is a Sudri yeah but that one is just to look all black because this is my edgy looking warlord I think I'm gonna go silent now until I remember something and I'll plug in a little bit more uh, I feel like it's a little, a little bit annoying if I just keep talking all the time because you pro guys probably don't really care that much. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just shut up for a while so you guys can enjoy the video. I just feel like it's a little bit dead air if I just don't speak at all. Um, so how's, how's your life going, guys? Uh, how, how, how's the wife? How's the kids? Anything interesting going on? Uh, are you guys playing any cool games? Uh, what about E3? What do you guys think about E3? I did not give a shit at all because For Honor was completely disgusting and uh, Skull and Bones was not on E3. If you don't know, Skull and Bones is a really cool game because it has a lot of Portuguese uh, influence in it, which is epic because I'm Portuguese myself. So I'm really looking forward to that game. It's basically the same thing as uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag and, uh, Assassin's, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey with all the, the boat stuff, but it's just the boat stuff, which is pretty epic. I really like the boat stuff uh, on both of those games, and uh, I can't wait for it, but it, 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 it keeps being delayed. It was delayed the first time because of uh, tax type of shit, like they already made enough money, and if they were to release that game, they would have had to pay more taxes or whatever, so I don't they don't they don't... Uh, publish the game and I got delayed again because they're working on new epic stuff so I really can't wait for that game other than that a real like Ken Reeves <laughs> showing up very epic lovely guy uh, other than that I don't really g give a shit about E3 and as you can see my Valkyrie looks exactly the same 
as last videos because I don't play Valkyrie after the rework. After she got reworked, I just got bored of her, honestly. They su they somehow made her heavies even weaker, so why should I play her, am I right? She already struggled with her terrible heavies. Oh right, but now there's a customization where you can actually put a s your symbol up in the face. So, can I do that and it looks epic on these? Yeah, I don't think so. So, if you want to make the crying laughing emoji that I have and put it on your Nobushis and on your Valkyries, go ahead. What do I have new? Okay. Uh, if you want to do that, go ahead. I feel like it, it looks pretty epic on the Nobushi. I, I'm not using it because <laughs> although it looks epic, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a little stupid. So, yeah. So, I have three Shaman sets. So this is my Defender, this one, because it's all black, as you can see, and then it has a little bit of green. Uh, also has the, the Attacker version. The whole point of this uh, build is that the tattoos are black, as you can see, because if I use any other color, it gets colored differently. This one and this one, they actually color the, the tattoos black, which is pretty epic. And I also made one for Attacker version, which is this one, as you can see, all the tattoos are black, although... Uh, I'm using this color palette. If I went for this one as well, it, the color, the tattoos are black, but the patterns are still different colors, which is pretty cool. And I also have my other extremely epic shaman. If you haven't seen her yet, man, you guys are gonna get blown away because she looks super freaking epic, guys. She looks super spoopy. And uh, I, I haven't shown you the weapon. I, I basically used the Revolution Liberation Hatchet because that was my first ever Assassin's Creed game I've, I've ever played. It's pretty epic. And then I just changed the the handles to a different one on all this on all these sets. But it's the same weapon as you can see. So this is my black shaman with white tattoos, apex all around. I really like this look. It looks super freaking spoopy. Look at her. She looks super spoopy. And then with this ornament as well, whew, she looks like a spoopy woman. Uh, too bad you actually have force to color some of these. I wish you could just not color these stuff. So this is the one that you use, the mint eggplant. Uh, I've also shown you on the Highlander. How you make the Highlander all white is also by using these exact color palettes. It's available for all heroes, I believe. I don't know about the Woolen, but it's available for all the other heroes. So you can make your, your character all black by using these two, although these are specific for the Vikings. I don't know about the Samurai Knights and Woolen, which ones, which of the color palettes makes you all black, but these ones that I've shown you are for making your character all white. As for Kensei, I think I f didn't show you guys this, this new look I went for. I went with the new gear, because I didn't have before, I'm sure. So this is a very, like, uh, Sakura Steel, by the way. Uh, this is a very, like, I don't know, like, professional look. Like, he just looks very noble, I guess. Uh, of course, the mask looks kind of stupid, but I feel like this looks like he's just using a robe, which is pretty... Uh, I was gonna say epic. Okay, I'm so I'm gonna be saying epic a lot, but he looks pretty epic, guys. And uh, he just looks very, very noble, I, I, I guess. And uh, as you can see with this color, it just looks like you, you're not even colored, and it just has a little bit of uh, golden strings across it's super epic looking and I also made another version of this this one literally does n like you, you you can't even see the fact that it is colored so I really like this one it's extremely basic I'm using this color the seashore and uh, with this chest piece the opokami and this only works on the female version the the male version will actually show you that you are colored sucker all around uh, as you can see here it shows here the pattern, but on the female version it doesn't. It's this pattern. Wait, that's the, the back part. Uh, it's this pattern, the concave lines. You need year one hero bundle. I don't know what that means. Hopefully you guys have that. If not, I, it doesn't even look that good. Let's be honest here. It doesn't even look that good, but it looks very plain, very basic, and I feel like it looks very noble as well, so I like this look a lot for Defender. And because you can't even really see the color that I'm using, it might be hard for the enemy to tell which uh, side I'm on. As for Orochi, he's the same as the other Orochis that I had before. So, Elegant Pit Viper all around, and then uh, Red Fang all around. He has a lot of small detail customization on everything. I'll show you all the symbols and all that. It, I don't believe you guys will actually make an exact copy, because I just have so many different battle outfits, elite outfits mixed in. But... Yeah, 
this is <laughs> I feel like uh, this is my most like co complete or m not even complete like the most weird customization after my Highlander which like it just has so many different things added I feel like it's a pretty epic looking Orochi as for Shinobi he, sh he or she looks exactly the same still I still have the same exact uh, thingy so this is my red slash pink loadout for the red for the attacker team uh, the weapon don't 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 look at that it's actually the serpentine set it's, this is just with the, the perks I'm not gonna waste money on the changing the looks but yeah I use the serpentine so as for the customization for the shoulders on the shinobi I don't think it really matters because you can't really see them to be honest uh, here I actually have the embossing and uh, material is obviously the red one let's move on to the blue side I really like the blue side one because of the thing I did with my chest uh, for the weapon actually this is the actual weapon so it's dragon uh, dusk and dawn and then dragon again I like that that mix over there so I like the going with the explosive blast free and then going with this blue color this blue pattern the uh, Armanda and it just looks like like it, it looks pretty good the transition between the armor and the uh, the pattern here looks pretty cool I like it a lot and uh, I went with this symbol uh, if you don't have it, it's not really important I think so yeah this is my f this is f only for defending and this is my Arab <laughs> the sand s sand sand nobi let's call them that sand nobi with uh, only with the same set dragon dragon dusk and dawn so yellow set and then a little bit green on the defender so this color pumpkin and then rangers I like it it looks very simple very basic and uh, well it's kind of hard to tell which side I'm on because it's so like so uncustomized I like it a lot it's very simple moving on to Shigoki new set because of new gear I'm pretty sure I don't I didn't have it customized this way before yeah I, I'm pretty sure I didn't even have customization on the Shigoki back then then I started maining him, then he got reworked, and I played with him for a couple reps, and then I just went back to Lawbringer again. So, it's extremely expensive to go with this build that I went with, but she, he is actually pretty viable now, so it's not like you guys are going to have a have to worry about getting a customized sh Shigoki, because now he's pretty viable, I think, at least to my, to my understanding from <laughs> what I remember. And I actually have another Shigoki. Oh, it's not. It's okay. I, ha I had a different look, but I guess I got rid of it. Nobushi. Also, I think new gear. I don't think I had this customization before. So, going with uh, Yoro no Miko. It looks super cute. Like, I love this set. It looks super cute. And then Serapi Serpent. Mimori. And uh, Mimori. I feel like this looks really cool with all the gold. Uh, if you don't have that uh, blade because from an event, use any other gold one. I feel like that looks super cool. Uh, this color palette, it looks amazing. I love this color palette. It is actually from winning on ranked. So if you don't have that, yikes, bro. You need to get that. It looks super cool. It looks super cool. I love this one. Uh, it's so vibrant. I also have it on the Shigoki. Did I show you the colors for my Shigoki? I don't think I did. I'll, I'll, I'll go back. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, showed you everything here. Uh, yeah, you can actually make the, her face. Now I have the <laughs> thinking emoji, crying, laughing emoji. Doesn't really work with this specific head, but you can do that. Pretty pretty epic and hilarious. Nice XD. All right, colors. So it's the same one, Twilight Apathy and Patriotic. I really like the, the blue version as well. Like, it looks really, really cool, in my opinion. I move on to Aramusha. So different customization than before I went with a more Ronin cap of look than I had before I had I had two different sets really go check them out those are really good I really like those sets but because we had new gear I kind of want to use a new gear for this video and for my fashion so really go check it out like uh, it's really good the customization I had on the other one for the other characters uh, a lot of them are the same or a little bit worse in my opinion but uh, the Anamusha the other two sets seriously go check them out they're really really good uh, this is like more different, like a completely different l the idea that I went with. So, 
really, seriously, like, go check out my other Aramushas on the other video. And right, moving on to Nuxia. Actually, I think I still have the Aramusha. No, I don't. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I got rid of both of them. So, let's move into Nuxia. I still have the same exact sets that I had before. So, I have three sets for Nuxia. I think I showed you on the last video. I'm not too sure. But I used the Dream Glade uh, set for all the sets, by the way. So, I'm not going to show you the weapon anymore. Um, this is a very simplistic look. There's not any real customization. There is a symbol here. But really, d don't really care about the customization on this one. Uh, yeah, I actually go without the any specific material because all the other ones look kind of weird with this set. Uh, because as you can see, it customizes here, but this one is still the same as this, so it's not customized there. Very simplistic, very very epic. So this color palette, dawn, and then watch. I like it a lot. It's very simplistic. Uh, wait, this new color is available. And it actually looks pretty cool. Nice. Thank you, devs. Very epic. Uh, moving on to my attacker one. I like this one as well. Very orange. Like just pure orange. I like it a lot. And then let's move on to the last set of Nuxia, which is my very extremely kawaii cute Nuxia. Uh, I feel like they probably didn't add that color palette that I'm using. If they did, I'd be super happy. So I'm using candy. And yeah, they haven't added it. I'm extremely cringing. I'm extremely disappointed right now because that looks super epic. They'll, this look, it looks so cute. Yeah, I'm using guard and rangers. Of course, that this is it's just she looks so cute this way. Yeah, no real customization uh, on anything else. I have a little bit of engravings here and there, but not really that important. Using this, she looks so cute, so kawaii. Moving on to Jung Jun. I don't know if I showed you the customization. I'm pretty sure I did. Last video, so it's the same thing. Buple room all around. Uh, as for the weapon, I haven't played Jung Jun after they added any of the new weapon sets, so I'm still using Fragrance, which was the only cool looking one when he got released. So, this is extremely cool. Like, there's barely any customization, there's no patterns, and I can still get this super lo cool looking gamer. I like it a lot. Oh, you can actually put symbols on the arms now. That's uh, kind of cool, actually. Very, very epic. Didn't know that. And let's move on to my uh, more simplistic Jiang Jun. Uh, this one, uh, I think I didn't show you. So, Yang Xia, Shang Wang, Shang Wang, Fragrance has the weapon set. Winged. Uh, I went gold, but I w used to go with silver because it looks all silver this way. I don't know which one looks best. I feel like this one looks best because it's all silver. And then for the ornament, just get rid of the ornament. It just looks more, more pretty. Let's say that way. I feel like that looks cooler. And I'm using Bloodbath and Watch. Very nice. Did I show you on the other set? I don't think I did. This other color. So Dawn and Expo. Expo because this purple or blue, whatever, looks pretty much the same as this purple slash blue. Looks pretty close. Black Prior. I don't like most of his sets. I'm going to show you guys all of the sets so you can see them. And then I'm going to tell you which one I find the best. Or which ones? Uh, hmm. So these are all the sets for him. Uh, just the basic ones. Who cares? So I like the Murmur one because it's more of a real knight type of look. I don't like the edgy shit. I like the this one, the steadfast rook because of the helmet. But I don't like the fur. It looks pretty stupid. But I like the set on this one, and uh, I like the the helmet on Forecast. I like it a, a little. It looks a little like weird. It's just like it's an old man, and I like the fact that this there's a different material for the the shirt and the co the, the, and the cloak. I like that. So these are my f my, my favorite sets for him. Uh, let's move on to Hitakiri. I only like one set, literally. I only like one set, and I'll get to it very close. I'm showing you all of them in fast succession, so I don't have to really waste time. 
and then the basic ones, you know, everyone knows those. So, my favorite one is this one, the Kontobuki. He looks super cool, dude. Like, he, he looks like a Viking, because I really wanted them to make a Viking with a war axe. The double-edged, uh, great axe that is a war axe. And this one is the one that looks the closest to what a Viking could look. So, I really like this exact look. This exact look is what I would go for. A black, uh... Hitokiri, male version, so you have this extremely badass face. I really like this build, this is what I would go for. I don't play Hitokiri, I don't like playing as Hitokiri, I don't even play this game, so it's not like it really matters. <laughs> but that, that is what I would go for. As for Tiandi, I hate every single set. I hate every single set. I completely despise Tiandi customization. I don't think he, the character looks good, because... It just doesn't look good. It's the same thing as the other Wulin. I just don't like the Wulin. And I hate the customization, so I'm not gonna give you guys my opinion on this. I don't like any of the sets. Seriously. I, I don't like a single one of these. <laughs> no. So, no customization for the TND. I showed you all the customization. That's all I'm gonna give you. So, as for Shaolin, I really like all of the Nomad variations, except the Devoted. And the... Uh, which this one, the Jinsei. I don't like the 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 devoted and the Jinsei variation of the no Nomad set and all the uh, no both of the other sets and all their variations. I hate them. I hate all of them. I only like the the Zhangfu. I like this one. It looks pretty cool. And I like the... wait, pressed the wrong one. And I like this one, the Taifang. I don't like the helmet for the Taifang, but I like the set. And uh, that is every single character. Woo! I think I made this in a record time. And I think I plugged in everything I wanted to plug in. So if you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Wait, how do I say it? Uh, Kaber toss that like button. And all the other cringy stuff I say at the, <laughs> at the top comment that is pinned. Uh, if you have not seen my other two customizations, go ahead and check them out. They're very old, therefore the game looks completely different than it looks now. <laughs> Be aware of that, but there's some cool sets there. Especially the Aramusha ones, those look really cool. I'm not saying the other ones will look bad, but the Aramusha ones really, really, really good. Uh, I may make like a, a huge May with huge fucking uh, quotation marks, because I'm not sure if I'll make it. So maybe I'll make a Discord, another Discord server video, because I have a lot of clips from that. And uh, before I, I stop playing. And if you have not seen my Mordha video of for other cosplays, go check them out. I feel like those were pretty cool. And I'm also making another cosplay video on Mordha. Go ahead and check it out if you are interested. And even if you're not interested, go check it out. What, what, what harm will it do to you? <laughs> see you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.